Alright, yo, what is up, guys? It's Mango here, back with another video. Today, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a smooth transform in DaVinci Resolve, which basically means when you're going from one point to another point in your, like, when you're zooming your videos. So, uh, yeah, in After Effects, you could do that easily by changing the keyframes to Easy Ease, but in DaVinci Resolve, unfortunately, you can't do that for some reason. And you have to do it by hand if you want to do that with graphs. So, uh, yeah, if you guys are new to the channel and want to support me, please make sure to drop a like and sub a note he's on. Comment down below what videos you guys like to see in the future. I'll also leave my socials in the description if you'd like to follow me there. That'd be much appreciated. But enough of me talking. I'll see you guys in DaVinci Resolve. how short this video is going to be because this is going to be super simple so you're just going to want to go to untitled project go to project settings file project settings change your time layer frame to 60 and if you have a high-end pc you could change the resolution to 1440 or you don't really need a, a really good pc to run 1440p or you could just keep it at 1080 if you want so i'm just going to call this zoom transform tutorial so for this tutorial what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be of something hold on so tune three i'm just going to download an image where's images all images images all right so i'm just going to download this right here and then what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna drop it in here. It's not downloaded yet, that's why it says media offline. So I'm just gonna, okay, there we go. So we're just gonna zoom this in already. So if you want to zoom it in, what you basically wanna do is we're not gonna be doing anything in here, the transform, we're going to go to fusion and then you can just zoom out over here and then drag this thing with the two arrows on the corners and drag it right here until this line turns blue you're just going to drop it and then to zoom it in is this size thing right here so you're just gonna click this ramos looking thing this keyframe and then go a few frames forward so i'm just gonna go to 20 and then i'm just gonna zoom it in like that or you could just drag cursor to zoom in like that so that's basically a regular zoom right here so I'm just going to make this quarter resolution so it doesn't lag. So that's what the zoom is. You could also, ch um, so this is the keyframe. I forgot what I was going to say before, but this is one keyframe where it starts and then this is where it ends. So yeah. So it doesn't really look smooth right now because it's just linear. But to make it exponential or smoother, you're just going to want to go back to Fusion, click on Spline, click on Transform. And then you should see this pink like graph thing so it's just gonna go straight diagonal up diagonally up so to make it round what you're gonna want to do is you're just gonna wanna click on one of them i'm just gonna click on this one right here and then you're just gonna want to put it down right here and then you're just gonna wanna go to the top one click it and then drag this up so it forms like a little s right here so once you go back it's smoother and to make it zoom out i'm just gonna go here and then we can close this out and then click on size right here and then go to the end around the end and then zoom back out like that so then that's a linear but right here is exponential the smooth zoom and it's just still for a while and then it zooms out but it's not smooth right here it's smooth over here but not here so just go back to your spline zoom out so you could tell this is the one that you did if you put your cursor right here so and then it, this red like playback like line will follow this thing right here so if it's going downhill like this like right here that means it, you're zooming out and if it's going uphill that means you're zooming in like right here so right here it's round it forms like a little s so that's what we're going to do here so we're just going to do the same thing we're just going to click this put this one up 
and then click this one and drag it down. So then once you play it back, it should be a smooth exponential zoom in and out. So uh, yeah, that's basically the video um, because not a lot of people uh, really like how the normal like linear zoom looks. So uh, yeah, I hope you I hope this helped. And if it did, please make sure to drop a like and someone know he's on. Comment down below what videos you guys like to see in the future. I'll also leave my socials in the description if you'd like to follow me there. That'd be much appreciated. But enough of me talking. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.